That's what you got in here for. Oh, oh, for robbery? Oh, well, you know, they accused me of kidnapping Princess Nadia, and now I'm going to get executed in two days. But, oh, hey guys, AK47 Master here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in Jail in Chrono Trigger. And days remaining till execution. Oh no, we only have one. So, basically we're going to make our big ruckus. Pipe down you. Oh yeah, screw you. I'm going to keep knocking if I can. I'm going to get killed in a day. Who cares? Oh, how many times do I have to tell that filthy... If you won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open the door. That's right. Open that door and let me out. Yeah, what you, what you going to do? Oh, no. Don't attack me, please. Please, I'm only dying in 24 hours. Heh, that's what you get for not doing what you're told. Oh, yeah? You'll, you'll see. Clunk, right on the head. Where did you think you're going? Alright. Now it's time to break out of Royal Jail. It royally sucks. And there was a little care package back in our jail cell, so I'll get that after I defeat this asshole. There we go. Take him out. Get some experience. Feels good to be back. I don't know why I'm talking about like Duke Nukem for some reason. Anyways, we can get three ethers, which is nice, and we can fully heal ourselves with uh, this cup of cup of Joe. Really nice. Let's open up this cell. I'm just gonna explore here, kind of. Oh man, we have to get in there another way. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of explore this area because it's very, very open. It's not linear at all. You could go wherever you want. And you could, it kind of has a sneaking aspect to it. You'll see what I mean. Which, can we go in there? Alright, for some reason I thought we couldn't. Alright. So yeah, if you go over here. Yeah, if you actually sneak up on someone, you could kill them instantly. You don't have to wait to go into battle, which I think that's very cool. Especially for an R a turn-based RPG. So, here we get some mid potions, an ether, a mid ether. Alright, a regular ether. Can't complain with that. That's pretty, pretty nice. So, yeah, all this stuff that you could do that's optional. Whoa, we got caught. Oh, he's not playing around. So, you're the ones gone and slipped to sell, eh? Well, really, I'm the only one here that's still alive. Everyone else is either dead or they've been taken to be executed. Let's just use Cyclone in the sky. I can't, I can't imagine actually getting hit by a cyclone in real life. I'd be super dizzy. I'd probably just pass out from the dizziness. Okay. Wow, this guy has a lot of health. Alright, that's, this should be it. He should go down. No? Still alive? Wow. Speaking of that, I've been playing Portal 1, which Portal's still alive. And I really, I really like the idea of the game. I, however, I haven't even gotten Portal 2 yet, which is a disappointment for me. They don't pay me enough for this. Haha, <laughs> he just quits. He's a quitter. But yeah, I really enjoy Portal 2. I think when I get no, regular Portal, Portal 1, I think when I get a capture card, I might consider doing that game as a side let's play on top of something else. But it is very interesting. And for these sentries, just wait until they reveal themselves. Or else you're really not going to do any damage. So just wait in real time until they show themselves, like, peeking out. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So just wait for him to peek out. There we go. Alright, now attack him. And it'll do, like, a, a, ten times more damage than it normally would if he was behind the shield. Wow, we got two potions right there. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go up here. Still some more cells that we could explore. Let's go inside here. Holy fire! Spooky! And that guy, he wasn't dead, he was just taking a nap. <clears throat> yeah. But here's, I think this is the first time we're actually battling a Lancer. We're gonna see a lot more of these in the Middle Ages once we return later on in the game. Which, that's, I just love, I just like, love the idea of this game, how you travel to different er eras, and you access different parts of each era throughout the game, like, continually. Alright, we're gonna have to get there another way again. And I think that's it for this area, so let's go back, and let's go this way, because this is the last place we haven't explored yet. 
There he is. Uh oh. We're surrounded by two royal guards. Uh, as you say, Cloud. And I feel like I feel a cold coming on for some reason. <clears throat> All right, nice. Cyclone just destroys these guys. And I wish there were more parts in this game where it was just, you know, it's just Chrono isolated, where you have no other party members with you to help you out, and you kind of have to fend for yourself. This is really interesting. Actually, Chugga Conroy got to a part of this Let's Play where it was like that, where Mario had to go to the under there, and he found Luigi, and it was cool because Princess Peach and Bowser actually got lost in the under there and the over there. Alright, right here, just wait until this guy's not looking at you and you could kill him, basically, or knock him out. This reminds me of that part, that one part in Ocarina of Time. Oh gosh, alright, we got a battle. Yeah, this reminds me of that one part where you're in the Gerudo Forest, and Gerudo Forest, the Gerudo Fortress, and you have to take down the Gerudos by sneaking up on them and shooting them with arrows in the back. I love Ocarina of Time. I wish they would make... I, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I wish they would take... Oh gosh, this is really gory. Please help me free him from the guillotine. No! <laughs> I'm just playing. Yes, let's free him. We're not that cruel. But I believe if you don't free him, like if you let him die, he turns into a lancer. Thank you, that was close. I'm Fritz. My father runs the market in truth. Stop by if you're ever in the area. So I think that will actually get us some benefits. We could actually get some free items in the truce market now. So that's pretty cool. So again, this game was one of the first to actually introduce the idea of being able... Oh, bronze armor. I'll have to equip that. It was one of the first of allowing uh, decisions to be made. Like positive and negative decisions. Which obviously in other open world RPGs such as Skyrim and Fallout 3 and, you know, Oblivion, these types of situations or choices you make in the game that really affect the story, you know, obviously that's very evident. And this was one of the first games to actually do it. <clears throat> okay, let's take out this last Lancer. Nice, we got a crit. Exactly 100 points. Sweet. Alright, is there anything else here? It's just that when the angle I play at, the lighting is horrible for me because I have to get the best lighting possible for the camera. So when I'm actually look I'm actually looking over the camera to record. Am I gonna be able to take this guy out? No, I cannot. Gosh darn it. Alright, let's see Cyclone. Okay, that's that was easy enough. But yeah, I just do that so the best possible quality is there is available for the camera and essentially for the actual YouTube video. Okay, let's just skip by these guys again. Go over here. Open up this cell. See what's inside. Chest, a shelter. Nice. That's useful. That's interesting. You get a shelter in a jail cell, and I. Do not consider the jail cell to be a shelter at all. And that is pretty creepy. That guy just died. In an rated E game. Or technically this game. This version of the game is E10. <laughs> Whatever. I'm such a nerd. A nerdy nerd. But yeah, that guy just died. There he is. Alright, so we got two more royal guards to fight. And then I think after this, we can actually move on to the next part, the next part of this little sequence, this little jail sequence. And Chrono is just a good example, a prime example that all good heroes are put in jail because of their blasphemous, blasphemous thoughts. And, uh, well that's not really right. Because of their rebellious thoughts, yes, that's correct. Uh, let me heal up a bit. Do some potions. That's another thing, this part of the game gives you a bunch of items to use at your disposal, including ethers and potions, so that's a good one, ether is pretty good. We don't have that much uh, magicka anyways. Now the warden's gonna be like, somebody help, look at his eyes, oh my god, is it focus, hold on.
There we go, it's focused. Somebody help, look at his eyes. Oh god. And if we check over here... Oh, Luca! Chris, I came to rescue you. Oh, looks like you didn't need my help after all. Well, let's not- let's stick together, alright. When I first played this game, I thought Luca would actually run away. And she's like, oh, you don't need my help anymore? I'll just be leaving. Alright, Dragon Tank Design Specifications. Warden of the Guardia Castle Prisons, alright. So this is talking about the, the dragon, which can, should kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be doing next. Okay. Okay, guys, so on the next episode, we will be finally making the finalist great escape from jail. See you guys on the next episode.